Hello and welcome to this review of St. Brendan's Irish Cream Liqueur made in Ireland with natural cream and made with the Quiet Man Irish Whiskey. 17% alcohol. Uh, I've seen the Quiet Man around. Now this is at Walmart but it's $12.99 and I bought it at Total Wine and More for $10.99 so it saved $2 when I was passing through town. Uh, St. Brendan's Irish Cream Liqueur Company Limited, Dairy, Ireland. So it's from London Dairy, Northern Ireland. Uh, it's a product of the United Kingdom. Uh, from Happy Cows Dining on the Richest Green Grasses of Northern Ireland. And that was the same as the Brady's, same distillery. And it was about the same price. Ten ninety nine. It was the same price. Comes the essence of the motherland, St. Brendan's Irish Cream. We start with all natural cream. Then finish with The Quiet Man, a bourbon cask matured Irish, Irish whiskey. I do need to try that one day. Or I want to try it. The result is a supreme Irish cream with a taste as smooth and uncomplicated as its recipe. Contains caramel coloring. Imported by Luxco, St. Louis, Missouri. Sold importers for the USA. So this may be sold in Europe, Africa, but for the United States, Luxco handles it. A subsidiary of Midwest Grain Products, made with fresh cream Irish whiskey. So there's a happy cow in Northern Ireland. Now Brady's used to be made in the Irish Republic, but uh, it was some change, and they moved it to the British Control District uh, country, I guess. Well, it's all the same country, right? Ireland. Okay, the British Control District sounds better, I guess. Okay. The other part, the Republic, it has their own president, is what I mean, not King Charles III. And they've been disconnected from the English kings since 1949, when they cut all ties with the British monarchy and declared themselves a republic. Okay, that's a history story. Let's go with the Irish cream story. Um, these things look like chocolate milk. <laughs> If you get bored in chocolate milk, yes. Nice alcohol eggs. Um, now this one here I bought at, at, at Cost Plus World Market. It was also $10.99. There's some old Michelob bottles. Well, that's the current design, if you can find it. I got cinnamon to put in it. Okay, let's see if this is similar to Brady's, because I thought Brady's had a real strong natural cream flavor yeah it smells like a a creamy liqueur you pick up the whiskey in the background that now they say on the website they use other spirits also probably grain neutral spirits unaged uh, grain spirits as a filler okay not unusual cheers uh yep yeah, um, it's like a grassiness. Oh, the grass from the cows is coming through. <laughs> but they, what they di digested. You say, oh, they're using cud. Okay. It is grassy. Um, beautiful Irish whiskey. I bet the Quiet Man is all different types of Quiet Man. It's a whole portfolio. Oh, I bet it's wonderful. Just like a coconut flavor. I'll, I have a feeling they're adding coconut. There's a sharp whiskey flavor, but it's not off-putting. It's not like boozy. It's just there. You know it's um, it's going to go great in my second cup of coffee in the morning. It's got enough sugar. It's, you wouldn't have to add sugar by any means. Well, usually, typically with coffee, I'll have a little teaspoon of sugar in the first cup, and the second two cups, no sugar, just milk. Um, but this is gonna, you know, add sugar to the second cup. Velvety mouthfeel, a high, medium body, like almost heavy body, like cream, heavy cream. Um, a sweet finish, not overly sweet. Okay. I've had so many now. I haven't had the famous Baileys, though, the world-famous Baileys, because that's running $28 a bottle. 
And so I've been reluctant to buy because I keep finding $8.99, $9.99, $10.99, $9.99, $10.99, $10.99, $9.99. So, you know, Bailey's probably tastes a lot like these. It's got the name, though, and I'm not opposed to it. I'm sure it's wonderful, but these are all wonderful. Even the wine-based ones are good. They're strange, but they're good. Oh, yeah, this, this is, if you don't like coconut, though, uh, you, know, you probably want to hate it, but... um. It's a beauty. I gotta pour some for a photo. St. Brendan, an Irish saint, an abbot, the head of a monastery. Put some cinnamon. So, um, which is just gonna, I didn't really pick up a lot of cinnamon in the flavor, I'll tell you the truth. I'll do now, since I added it. Um, the Trader Joe's was cinnamon heavy, but they tell you, tell you on the website we jack it up with cinnamon. So there's different ways to spin it. See, some are nutmeg heavy, some use brandy. Or other spirits to jack it up, or to, to fill it in. I should say not jack it up because they never really more than 17% alcohol. Uh, but, um. Now it's got me wanting to try that quiet, man. <laughs> so, Lazy Le Bon Ton Relay, I'm going to score it an 80. <sighs> I meant to say an A. An A. You know, 80 starts with A and A, a starts with A. An A. 94 out of 100. A most excellent product. It's a beautiful bottle. It's the best looking bottle I've gotten so far. It looks classy, but even though it's only $10.99, you know. And I'm going to end this in Walmart. I got the big, big ones. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all go to Northern Ireland and take a tour of the London Dairy Irish Cream Liqueur Distillery.